how are you approaching just routine mammograms for patients, let's say who are on an annual schedule and look forward to having their mammogram at the same time each year and they're sort of you know, upset about the fact that their schedule is thrown off. Um, how do you manage that situation? So I'm going back to my pandemic um, consortium because they were wonderful in looking at this where patients who are getting just a regular routine screening mammography, we're delaying it the 10 to 12 weeks that we need to. For patients who are um, within their, what we call their diagnostic time, let's say a patient that had a triple negative breast cancer 18 months ago, who is now due for their mammogram in May, we are still gonna proceed with that diagnostic mammogram because in that patient, the level of anxiety about not having that film is gonna be potentially more detrimental to that person than actually going in and having a very low risk, you know, wearing a mask, being protected, you know, doing all those aspects. Um, so for routine screening, we are gonna be delaying it, but for diagnostics, people that have palpable masses that require, you know, a workup and evaluation, they should still be seen on a case per case basis. And in my practice, I'm still seeing all the BIRADS fours and fives because we don't know the biology of a tumor until it's diagnosed. So potentially missing a triple negative or HER2 positive, um, we, this is where we're, you know, we, we, you've got to outweigh, you know, the risk, take the risks and the benefits and say, if we have a triple negative or HER2 positive cancer that we wait 12 weeks on, you know as well as I do that those cancers can continue to progress. And um, with an abundance of caution, we're doing everything we can to limit the number of people within the facility at the same time and, you know, huge changes in the wipe down of every surface and wearing of gloves and masks by, you know, all the personnel. Wow. Wow. And by when you say by reds four or five, please explain what you mean by that. So I, I forget I'm talking to you and not just the general public. So in, uh, in the medical community, we look at mammograms and grade them based on our suspicion that a finding could potentially be cancer. A BIRADS zero means we haven't come up with an answer, we need more imaging. A BIRADS one or two is a benign finding. A BIRADS three means that there's something that's probably benign but needs short-term follow-up. And BIRADS four and five are the category where there's enough of a, you know, with a BIRADS five, we think it's cancer until proven otherwise. The BIRADS four means that we found something that has a high chance of being cancer, and I would not want to delay that a potential uh, biopsy or diagnosis for like a, a BIRADS um, for B or C. So we get really specific in this world where we grade things with A, Bs and A's, Bs and C's because not one of us um, that looks at a mammogram can know it's a cancer until we have a biopsy and the pathologist gets that answer. So um, I'm gonna put all the BIRADS fours and fives together right now in one category and say that if that's the um, diagnostic imaging that the patient has gotten and that's what their um, so-called level of risk is, that is something that we will continue to see and evaluate. And that way, hopefully, if we find out something's not cancer, that patient can then go back to regular screening. If we find out that it is cancer, then we look again at the tumor biology and how this tumor behaves to determine whether or not something needs to be done now or whether we can safely delay it you know, for 10 to 12 weeks. Yes, and it's great to, for people just to hear that um, we have a sort of a common language that doctors, whoever they are, um, understand when it comes to uh, reading and interpreting a mammogram and making recommendations based on what the mammogram shows. And of course, um, you, you always look at the whole patient. Um, you're one of those doctors who always does that. So it's not just the mammogram that you're looking at. Um, it's everything else, including their risk, other risk factors that determine the significance of a mammogram um, a change or a finding.